So you know that guy in uh, Brazil, Lula, right? So he actually speaks up for the people. Glenn Greenwald, did they, they had thrown him in jail. The government had thrown him in jail, and Glenn Greenwald uh, broke the reporting that showed how the prosecution of him was fraud. So he got out of jail. And then the government tried, started to try to kill Glenn Greenwald. Uh, and so he's out of jail now, and he's going to run for election, and he holds the lead uh, right now in polling. But why? So why do I bring this up, right? Lula's top foreign advisor says U.S. sanctions on Russia was a mistake. U.S.-led sanctions on Russia are a political mistake that increasing the risk of nuclear war, according to the top foreign policy advisor for Brazil's president, presidential frontrunner, Luis Inacio Lula da Silva. Sounds like he should be fighting in the MMA. Celso Amorim, who led Brazil's foreign ministry during Lula's two terms in office, warned of the dangers of isolating an economy as big and strategic as Russia's, explaining why the leftist former president wouldn't endorse such diplomatic positions if elected in November. For the first time since the Cuban Missile Crisis, we see articles about the risk of nuclear weapons published on a weekly basis, he said. It's irresponsible not to seek peace. Nearly six months after President Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, the conflict is bogged down in the east of the country. Members of the North Atlantic, the NATO, continue to see weapons to send weapons to Kiev and to impose major sanctions on Russia's 1.7 trillion economy. That's what? In May, Lula caused controversy when telling Time magazine that Ukraine's Zelensky and U.S.'s Joe Biden share part of the blame for the war, as he believes both leaders failed to negotiate more with Moscow. Well, that's exactly true. Amarim, 80, now sees nuclear weapons as a threat, as tangible as those posed by the climate, inequality, and the pandemic. Sanctions are also strengthening ties between Moscow and Beijing. I have nothing against China. We're all part of the BRICS. What does BRICS stand for, Jackson? Do you know? Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. That's their new economic coalition that we forced on to happen. But I can't understand the interest of the U.S. in strengthening the China-Russia relationship. That's true. He said, referring to a group of major emerging market economies that include Brazil, Russia. Lula, if elected, could take a leading role in global peace talks, signaling that Brazil would resume its longstanding external policy of neutrality and peaceful resolution of conflicts under the leftist leader. In Latin America, Lula would reorganize the Mercosur bloc with Argentina, Paraguay, and Uruguay while reestablishing normal diplomatic relations with Venezuela, just like President-elect Gustavo Petro is poised to do in Colombia. How can we have a program for the Amazon rainforest without Venezuela? Having diplomatic relations doesn't mean approving of a government. That would mark a departure from some of the foreign policies adopted by President Jair Bolsonaro. While the incumbent has also maintained a neutral position on the Russia-Ukraine conflict, he joined the U.S. and a dozen other countries in refusing to recognize Nicolas Maduro as Venezuela's president. What? Oh, okay, the incumbent. So that's Bolsonaro is the incumbent. I thought they were talking about Lula. So, yeah, he doesn't represent, he doesn't recognize Maduro because this guy hates socialism and he's a puppet of the capitalists. That's who That's who this guy is. So uh, that's nice to hear from Lula. It's good to know that when he becomes president, he won't uh, screw up anymore with Ukraine. Any comment on this, Jackson? It's interesting. I think uh, I think that Lula probably will win if they allow him to, uh, you know, have a fair election. And Brazil's in a really interesting position right now. You know, the real you covered this, I think, is the second best performing currency of the year. Yes. The ruble is the top performing currency of the year. You talk about replacing the dollar global reserve currency. This is how you're going to do it through BRICS and BRICS is expanding with Indonesia and Egypt likely joining relatively soon. So those are huge population. Hey, we're coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Los Angeles, Spokane, Tacoma, Denver. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets for all our live shows. See you there. (laughs) 